Monday's Juneteenth holiday. Juneteenth is now a federal holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the U.S. Joining us now to talk about a cleanup effort at Historic Maid Cemetery is Kathy King, who is a board member of the Historic Wilmington Foundation and an advocate for preserving the cemetery. And it is so nice to meet you, Ms. King. No, that is me. It's nice for me to be here as well. Pleasure May I call you, you Kathy? Yes. All right, thank you. And we're going to get to the specifics of the cleanup in just a second, but why is May Cemetery so historic and so important to our region? It's important because it's among many of the already abandoned cemeteries, and any of the ones that we can rescue, that we can show care to, and, and make sure that it's being taken care of perpetually with volunteers, of course, and any funds or resources that are available through the state or city are welcome. But for the most part, it's important to recognize and, and honor those who have preceded us, and their burial grounds are important for us to continue to maintain. Yes, and what is so special about this cemetery? I mean, some of the graves are, are from the 19th century, right? Yes, they are. It's important because it's part of Maze Park, which is a prominent park here in Wilmington. The Maze family uh, were the owners of the land. The history says that they were peanut farmers or had something to do with the peanut industry during their time. And from it being a family cemetery, it finally turned into being a community cemetery where over 200 people are buried there. Many of them are in unmarked graves, but our role is to keep the cemetery looking like a cemetery because when we first started three years ago, it was about two and a half to three feet high of vegetation. And now you can at least see the ground and we've uncovered some of the headstones. And people do this on a recurring basis. So why uh, Juneteenth? Why marry those together? Well, Juneteenth, the whole idea and the experience of slavery and knowing that African Americans are buried at that cemetery, it's, it's, it's up to us, up to me in particular, to take the lead and have people come out and maintain the cemetery. All right, let's get to the specifics, the day, the time, and what people need to do to help. Okay, so we come out every second Saturday from 9 to noon. Tomorrow we'll be there this the third Saturday because we wanted it to coincide with Juneteenth Day with the okay. significance of African American history in the, city, in the city. And we have the address on our screen, 1101 Manley Avenue. And what do people need to bring? Okay, people need to bring uh, willingness to just get into the weeds. There's not that many weeds anymore, but come, you can, you have equipment, rakes, weed trimmers, Somebody has had, we've had a lawnmower out there, but that's not really a priority. Mainly just rakes and, and lawn banks. And then community fellowship. Kathy yes. King, thanks so much for being with us, and best of luck tomorrow with the cleanup. Thank you, Donna. And we'll be back to tomorrow.